Welcome to the EMWorks video tutorial series. In this example, the magnetostatic solver of EMS will be used to simulate a solenoid with a moving armature that was built inside SolidWorks. The model consists of a copper coil within the core and surrounding the center pole. Two air boxes are also used to view the fields between the bodies and around them. With the model built and loaded into SolidWorks, you can go straight to the EMS Manager tab. Here you can create a new study. In this example we will use the magnetostatic solver and compute circuit parameters such as inductance as well as steady state thermal analysis. The first step is to assign materials to all the bodies. The center pole consists of 1010 steel, which is applied from the EMS material library. This library contains linear and nonlinear materials, as well as permanent magnets. You can review the material properties and then complete the assignment. The yoke is also composed of 1010 steel. The coil will be assigned copper from the material library. Finally, the two air components will have air, uh, will have air assigned to them from the material library at once. With the materials now defined, we will apply the excitations. In this case, it is a wound coil. We specify the coil body, select the entry face of the current, as well as the number of turns and the current that goes through each turn. After assigning the coil, we might also want to calculate the force acting on the moving arm. Select the moving arm, and if there was any interest, select the torque center. Finally, we need to specify some thermal inputs. Select convection, and then choose all of the faces that come into contact with the air. Then, specify the convection coefficient and the ambient temperature. Before running the analysis, the user will have to specify the finite element mesh in this model. Once the mesh is created, you are ready to run the analysis. You can also review some of the inputs if you wanted to make some last minute changes. Once the run is completed, you can review the results in plots or in tables. The results table contains some insight on forces, energy, and circuit parameters. Plots give an idea on the performance of designs according to their input materials and excitations. They can be viewed in vectors to suggest the direction of fields, or simply by magnitudes. Sections can be taken from the plots to view distributions inside a model. A DC magnetic study can produce the magnetic flux density, the magnetic field, the applied current density, the force density, as well as thermal distributions when thermal analysis is coupled. You can also probe the model to see the magnitudes in certain areas or in certain locations. After reviewing the results, you can generate a report that compiles all the information given in the study for distribution. After selecting the relevant data, the generator proceeds to take snapshots of the results to save in the report which is located in the hard disk, but can also be reviewed inside SOLIDWORKS. The Report Viewer is a mini-browser that's placed inside SOLIDWORKS, so there won't be a need 
to turn back to the hard disk saved HTML files or Word documents. Comparing results is feasible in EMS, as you can clone a study and change some properties instead of creating a new study in its entirety from scratch. You also have the option of running all the studies in the list in series. To compare the results, you can activate a single study and create a plot. Once the terms of the plot are set, select other studies for comparison. The main goal behind EMS is to increase the productivity of the design. For this reason, the entirety of the design phase formed inside the SOLIDWORKS environment. For more information on how to use EMS, you can visit our website.